We are here at the stunning Rogers Garden right here at the nursery in Newport Beach, California. And we're going to show you some indoor house plants that can take out some toxins from the air. Yes, and in fact, Ron, why don't you stick with the bachelor type plants that are easy to maintain? What are you saying? And I'll stick with my favorite, the colorful flowering plants. So what's so fascinating about these 50 plants, and I don't have time to show you all 50, but we're gonna go through at least a dozen of them. What's so fascinating is that NASA scientists and a Dr. B.C. Wolverton in particular did studies to find out which plants can actually absorb chemicals and toxic vapors from our indoor air. Now, to be really effective and compare to an air purifier, say, you would really need one plant every 100 square feet. So I wouldn't say that they replace an air purification system, but they're such a great addition. And you know what, if you're working in a toxic office with a lot of bad air, this is perfect for your desktop. For you bachelors, I'm gonna show you plants that are so easy to manage, because I know we don't all have green thumbs. The Eureka Palm, wow, what an incredible indoor house plant. Literally just one of these potted plants, great for 100 square feet. It's so good at taking out all sorts of chemicals like benzene and formaldehyde. Here's a good example of a plant that takes very little care, the rubber plant. The sap inside this rubber plant has been used to create natural latex, and it actually creates better indoor air quality. Spencer's the cameraman, and I've heard he's not really really good at taking care of plants. Uh, well, this one was okay for you. you this, this will last for you. Just, just make sure you water it. Okay, so I want to take you through some of these absolutely gorgeous flowers that you can actually make your home look more beautiful while also making your air healthier. This is actually an azalea. This may look familiar to a lot of you. This one's really good at cleaning the indoor air. The Gerber Daisy is one of my absolute favorites. It's really good at removing benzene. And you know what? This plant has a little secret to it. It's great to keep by your bed when you sleep because it actually removes CO2 while you're sleeping and produces oxygen at night. And right here I have the Anthurium, which is otherwise known as the Flamingo Flower. It's absolutely so beautiful. And it's great to add a splash of color to your home. It's so great to give as a housewarming gift. This little puppy actually removes ammonia. So if you have cats or you're cleaning with toxic products, this is a good plant for you. It also removes formaldehyde, benzene, xylene, and toluene, chemicals that can off-gas from products in our home, such as paints and solvents. Here we have the moth orchid. I love this plant. I get asked a lot of times what's an easy plant to maintain, and this one is. What I do is just put an ice cube in it once a week, and that's all the water it needs. So if you don't have a green thumb, this is a great flowering plant for you. Over here we have the bromeliad. This is cute. It looks kind of like a pineapple to me, and it comes in all different colors, yellow, pink, red. It's absolutely stunning. Wow, philodendron. For those of you who don't have a green thumb, what a great opportunity to get something that you can take care of and can still pay you back with good indoor air quality. The spider plant, nicknamed the airplane plant. How effective is this? Just make sure you hang it up high because it likes to grow over. Here we have the calancho. These come in all different colors. They're really great at removing these chemicals that we're talking about. Chemicals like formaldehyde, benzene. If you've got smokers in your home, even if you have neighbors that smoke, you can be getting cigarette smoke into your home AKA exposure to benzene. So these plants are gonna remove that benzene. They're gonna remove trichloroethylene, which you can get from solvents and paints. All these words sound so scientific, but the truth is you're breathing them in every day. This is the peace lily. I'm sure it looks familiar to a lot of you. This plant is unbelievable. It's really a clean all plant, and you a lot of times see it used in bathrooms and laundry rooms because of its ability to remove mold from the air. Hey, great job in there, Ron. Thanks. I don't think you're gonna kill those plants after all. Well, thanks, I think. <laughs> Uh, well, for those of you who want to know more about indoor house plants and how to make your home a healthier place, check out ronandlisa.com or go to the book Just Green It at justgreenit.net.